Spirituality means waking up. Most people, even though they don't know it, are asleep. They're born asleep, they live asleep, they marry in their sleep, they breed children in their sleep, and they die in their sleep without ever waking up. They never understand the loveliness and the beauty of this thing that we call human existence. You know, all mystics, Catholic, Christian, non-Christian, they're all unanimous, no matter what their theology, no matter what their religion, they're all unanimous on one thing. And that one thing is, all is well. Everything's in a mess, and all is well. Strange paradox. But tragically, most people never get to see that. They never get to see that all is well because they're asleep. They're in a nightmare. <laughs> wake up! Wake up! You're grown up. You're too big to be asleep. Wake up! Stop playing with your toys. Most people tell you that they want to get out of kindergarten, but don't believe them. Don't believe them. All they want for you to do is to mend their broken toys. Give me back my wife. Give me back my job. Give me back my money. Give me back my reputation, my success. This is what they want. They want their toys repaired. That's all. Now, even the best psychologists will tell you that. They'll tell you people don't really want to be cured. What they want is relief. A cure is painful. Waking up is unpleasant, you know. You're nice and comfortable in bed. And at least as long as you're asleep, it's irritating to be woken up. That's the reason why I told you the wise guru will not attempt to wake people up. I hope I'm going to be wise these days and make no attempt whatsoever to wake you up if you're asleep. None of my business. My business is to do my thing, to dance my dance. If you profit from it, fine. If you don't, too bad. As the Arabs say, the nature of the rain is the same, but it grows thorns in the marshes and flowers in the garden.